you ever had those days where you wish you could have a superpower that allowed you to function without any sleep? As we get older, we are required to juggle multiple responsibilities, such as keeping up with school, or being physically active, and spending time with family and friends. As a result, to make time for these responsibilities, we start to sacrifice our sleep. However, similar to having a well-balanced diet, getting a good night's sleep is crucial to maintaining good physical, mental, and cognitive health. So to start off, let's look at how much sleep we need. According to the National Sleep Foundation, the amount of sleep required progressively decreases with age. As shown in the chart, teenagers need about 8 to 10 hours of sleep while adults only need about seven to nine hours of sleep. It's also very important to remember that these hours of sleep vary from individual to individual, which is why the National Sleep Foundation has included a range as well as an upper and lower limit of sleep. So why do we need this amount of sleep? Now that we've learned how much sleep we need, Let's look at why exactly we need these specific hours. It was once thought that sleep was simply a period of rest with no other defined purpose. Some medical professionals believe that sleep was a maladaptive vulnerable state that existed for unknown function. However, more recent research suggests that sleep serves many important functions. Let's look at the first function of sleep. Sleep is important for consolidating or strengthening our memories. When we, are, when we form memories, there are three main steps, encoding, consolidation, and retrieval. The amount and quality of sleep we get is crucial to step two, because it involves a state of reduced information processing, which then allows memories to move from fast learning storage in the hippocampus to slow learning in the neocortex. Memories within the storage system are strengthened and adapted with existing memories and are therefore less subject to decay. The second reason is a good night's sleep can improve our cognitive function. During sleep, the incorporation of new memories and reorganization of existing memories helps to create greater flexibility within neural networks, which helps us develop more efficient ways to deal with new and complex situations. Finally, getting an adequate amount of sleep is beneficial to maintaining good mental health. Studies have shown that individuals with a diagnosed sleep disorder are at a higher risk of developing a mood disorder later in life. Evidence also suggests that reduced REM latency, the time between the start of sleep and the start of REM sleep, may be an important biomarker for depressive diseases. So, now that we had a chance to look at the importance of getting good night's sleep, we'll look at two different scenarios. What happens to our health when we don't meet our required hours of sleep? And what happens to our health when we exceed our sleep requirements? Sometimes, on a day after we've stayed up late, we feel that if we can manage to stay awake in the morning, we can get past the rest of the day, and that if we are able to do it once, we can probably do it over and over again. Unfortunately, this isn't the case. Every time we miss our required hours of sleep, those hours get added to our sleep debt, which accumulates and adversely affects our daily activity. In addition, lack of sleep plays a significant role on our mental capabilities. We tend to be in a negative mood, which then leads to hindrances in academic life as you find yourself less productive throughout the day. It also makes you reluctant to socially interact with others leaving you impatient to co collaborate for a group assignment. On the other hand, when we exceed our sleep requirements, it is often because we haven't been getting an adequate amount of sleep. At the beginning of the video, we mentioned that the National Sleep Foundation has an upper and lower limit for each group. So, when we are exceeding our sleep requirements, it means that we are sleeping past the upper limit. 
potential effects of oversleeping include an increased risk of diabetes and impaired glucose tolerance due to not having enough time for physical activity. This decrease in physical activity per week leads to impaired glucose regulation, which then contributes to greater visceral adiposity. Being more likely to experience headaches and back pain due to changes in neurotransmitter concentration, which increases serotonin levels and subsequently causes changes in blood vessels and muscle tone. Adding to that, a higher risk of obesity. People that sleep 9 or 10 hours every night are 21% more likely to become obese over a 6 year period because more sleep leads to changes in meal times which alters our internal blood sugar rhythms providing the body less time to burn off the energy. There are also non-medical problems that may arise from too much sleep. Feeling tired and unmotivated which occurs due to a deviation from normal sleeping patterns. This disrupts the body's rhythm and increases daytime fatigue. Individuals who follow a regular pattern of oversleeping are also more likely to feel depressive symptoms in the long run. To conclude the video, we will be looking at some tips and tricks to help ensure that you are meeting your required hours of sleep. These include creating a relaxed sleeping environment, get setting a sleep schedule that you are most likely to follow, limiting naps in the late afternoon or evening, maintaining a regular exercise routine, avoiding late night meals, alcohol consumption, as well as nicotine and caffeine use, using low light in the evenings and even turning on the blue light filter on your phones and laptops. If you're still unable to meet your required sleep hours per night, you can also speak to a family doctor, sleep physician, sleep psychologist for further assistance. Thank you for watching. And for more videos like this, please visit the Demystifying Seminar YouTuber webpage. Links have been provided in the description below.